first time since late April, there is now a slight uptick in daily positive cases of COVID-19. 8 News Now reporter Joe Moeller is live just outside the Thomas and Mac COVID-19 testing site. And Joe, health officials say the increase was actually expected. Yeah, that's right. What well, we're seeing this uptick in cases just slightly because more tests are available and more people are obviously going out in public. Now, this is a small uptick again. Now, officials say it's more important than ever to continue to be cautious. Yeah, we signed up yesterday and we were here today, so that couldn't be easier. Everybody should do it. Before traveling, the Koopa family wanted to take precautions. My dad's not in great health, so I want to make sure I'm I'm uh, negative. They came to Thomas and Mac at UNLV for the drive-through COVID-19 test. The incident commander of the testing site says results come back in about a day. Our test is a, a oral swab. It takes about 10 seconds. It's very quick and painless. I did it on my first day here, and it's um, super easy. With testing getting easier and more done, Dr. Michael Gardner at UNLV School of Medicine says it is expected. Of course there's going to be an increase. Can we control that increase? Can we keep it manageable to where we don't overwhelm the system so we don't see a huge spike in cases? As of now, hospital beds are not at capacity. The key is keeping it that way. People should continue to social distance and use masks. To be cognizant of the fact that we're living with the virus and that the infections will be out there. And common sense would suggest, particularly if you're in a higher risk group for whatever it is, is to be cautious. Dr. Gardner says in the next week or two, we should know better where we stand when it comes to a rise in cases. As of now, taking precautions like the Kubas is important. I think it's, uh, it's great that everything's opening up, and I think everybody should be still careful. Now, this location here at Thomas and Mac, they expect to be open until July, and you do not need an appointment to come get the test done. Reporting live at Thomas and Mac, Joe Mullen, 8 News Now.